Hey guys, Virtus Education here with episode 2 of the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series and in today's episode we're going to be showing you how to download, install and get the engine ready uh, to start actually creating some content. So let's just go ahead and get started so we can actually start making some content, experimenting with the engine and actually building something of our own. So to get the engine all you need to do is go ahead and head over to the Unreal Engine website if you want to the link is down in the description below if not just go ahead and uh, type in www.unrealengine.com into your browser as you can see it is done so here however you know clicking the link in the description is nice and easy so to go ahead and download it just go ahead and press get unreal once you've done that it will ask you to enter in a bunch of information about yourself and then from there you can proceed with the purchase of the engine now if you've already purchased the engine you can just go ahead and sign in with your account and then you can just go ahead and download the link now I can't necessarily show you that as I do not actually have an account uh, with a download link available but it's pretty simple just go into your account and you should find a download link from there so once you have that you will be uh, you will start downloading an installer so just go ahead and place that somewhere convenient in my case I've gone ahead and put this down in the uh, down on my desktop so I'm just going to go ahead and double click that and we'll have the Unreal Engine setup that will open now from here you can you can choose a installation directory for the engine in my case I don't want it to be the default location so as you saw there I can just go ahead and type in you know I can just go ahead and define a new location this for me being the applications unreal uh, the reason for me moving it to this hard drive being that I actually have more space on here uh, the primary hard drive being an SSD so you can see that's now changed I can go ahead and press install and it is absolutely as simple as that you press the UAC button a couple of times it'll start copying files install DirectX if need be and then from there it'll just go ahead and install now for most of you this may take about five minutes to install however in the meantime I would like you to go ahead and look at the website and some of the documentation and so on that we have available to us on here for example on here we have news posts about the engine all the updates for example at the time being I can take a look at the engine 4.1 update preview that being that you know Linux is gonna be a couple of bug fixes and so on or if I wanted to I could look at some of the extra showcases like the realistic rendering showcase that I saw last year um, yeah, some blueprint stuff, some blueprint less, blue, ah, sorry, blueprint lessons, you know, or I could even just go onto the forums, talk to other people with the engine, check out other people's projects, or I could even just go ahead and take a look at the Wikipedia page for the engine, which is absolutely great, and just, there's so much documentation, it's absolutely great, and I can't wait for you guys to learn it. So, also something that we can take a look at is some of the game templates that comes with Unreal Engine 4, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we can go ahead and download, download those and play with them, but as of right now, I'm not going to. Anyway, so, a couple minutes later, your uh, installer will come to this page here, uh, where we've got this nice, lovely custom installer, and then a few seconds later, that will close after it's downloaded all the files, now then, once you've actually gone ahead and installed the engine, the launcher will pop up as you can see here. So uh, as soon as you go ahead and open up the launcher, you can see that it's going to start downloading the content examples. And this is around 3 gigabytes, and you are required to download this before you can actually go ahead and launch the engine. Now from this launcher, we can actually take a look at a whole bunch of different stuff. Now I am going to be going over the launcher in a little bit more detail in the next video However, I'm just going to quickly give you a quick overview while I finish downloading the launcher here I've got about just over a gigabyte left So first and foremost we've got the home page where we've got all these little options here We've got the community page where we can check out new uh, posts and uh, different resources like some broadcasts, the Twitch page, Unreal forums. We've also got the land page where we can, well, you know, learn stuff. And we've also got the marketplace where we can actually go ahead and download a bunch of different templates, which we'll be going over in some of the videos where we actually break down some of these templates and actually use that stuff to, you know, create our very own projects, which is going to be very, very interesting. So I'm just going to go go ahead and uh, resume the video again once we actually get back to 
you know the point at which we can actually open the engine because as of right now we actually have to wait until all of this has finished downloading so I'll be back in a second so now that everything's finished downloading let's just go ahead and finally launch the engine so let's go ahead and press the big yellow launch button here and then it will instantly open up uh, it'll come to a little splash screen and then hopefully it should give you a lovely uh, project selection menu so as of right now from here we only have the one uh, project being the content examples project if we wanted to we can go ahead and create a new project if we so please but I'll be going over that in a separate video so I'm just going to quickly show you the Unreal Engine editor to try and get you excited ready for the next video and then we'll move on to a proper detailed launch overview and we'll go over some of the more uh, specific stuff in here so here it is the unreal engine 4 launcher we're inside of it we got this very attractive user interface and uh, we can move up down you know we can play around with user interface we can drag things in you know and so on and so forth anyway that's pretty much everything for this video don't forget to check out the next one so thanks you for thank you for watching comment like and subscribe and I will see you next time goodbye